good morning. It is December 23rd, inching ever closer to uh, Christmas. I hope you're enjoying this season and are getting something out of our Advent readings uh, as we've been going through, through throughout this year's Christmas time. You know, we've got a, uh, I love the, the title of today's reading. It says, Love Blows Our Minds. It's, that's just a great, great title. So let's, let's look at the verse and let's talk about it a little bit. This is out of Ephesians chapter 3, verses 17 through 19, okay? So the Apostle Paul here is praying for the Ephesian people. And he says, I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power together with all the Lord's people, holy people, to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ, and to know this love that passes knowledge, that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. Now that's a mouthful. The Apostle Paul, you really get the sense here that he wanted the Ephesian people in the Ephesian church to truly experience the fullness of what it means to be a child of God. And that is all about love. What it means to be completely, you know, uh, immersed in the love of God. <clears throat> it's interesting here because... Um, when we, when we think about God in so many different ways, um, we need to keep always in our mind, as much as we can learn about God, there's always more to learn. Um, I, I've used this phrase many times throughout my, um, my um, you know, preaching and teaching uh, years. And that is that man, mankind, we, any of us, can only underestimate God. He's bigger than we can possibly imagine him to be. And because of that, overall umbrella thought, so to speak, we can also say that we can only underestimate the love of God, the grace of God, the mercy of God. He's, his love goes beyond Think about the most loving thing that anybody could possibly do that doesn't make any sense at all, but it's an act of love, and God is more than that. Of course, he showed us his, his love when he sent his son to die for us, the greatest example. But, and, and so coming to this awareness is one thing. Experiencing it is another. Look again at what our verse says. He says he wants... Apostle Paul says he wants us to know this love and that it surpasses knowledge. How can we know something that surpasses knowledge? Hmm. Well, if you get into that word know, uh, you understand that there's uh, it's a multi-dimensional word. And, and part of it's the Greek word gnosko. And part of it means to know by experience. And then there's another part that uh, is more towards the logical understanding. And so I think that's where we can kind of put two and two together here with these two statements. Paul says, I want you to know this love. I want you to experience this love. And it's the love that surpasses logical understanding. So we can experience a love that goes higher, deeper, wider uh, than what our minds can conceive of. It's bigger than that. What, so what does that do for us? I mean, come on. What does that really do for us on a regular, everyday basis? It tells me that there's nothing that I can do that can separate me from that. Scriptures tell us that, right? There's nothing I can do where God will say, that's too much, Mark. I don't love you anymore. There's nothing in my life that can separate me from the love of God. And so then, that should not motivate me to go out and just do whatever I want, knowing that I can't be separated from his love. That should motivate me 
to stay, to live, abide in his love and enjoy it, experience it. I want to read a, another verse for you. And this is also in the book of Ephesians. And so listen to this. Uh, this is uh, chapter 2, starting in verse 4. The Apostle Paul says, But God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in our sins, has quickened us together, made us come alive, together with Christ, by grace you are saved, and has raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, that in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness toward us through Christ Jesus. One more time. This is Ephesians chapter 2, verses 4 through 7. Please go back and read that. Read it four or five times. Let it sink in what the love of God is and know that as our uh, title for today's thought. God's love blows our mind. There's no way that we could ever fully encompass it. And yet, we experience it. The degree to which we experience God's love is up to us. It starts in our mind, in our heart, in our, in our will. The emotions follow that. And we can, in this season truly have a love experience that surpasses logical understanding. I hope that's true for you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again on Christmas Day. Thanks.